It's time to check out the salaries and let's start with the entry job and I am also going to consider average and median values. It's very important that we need to ensure that this is entry level, junior level or senior level and my basis is going to be the US then we're going to compare with other overall engineering uh, professions then by company and then we compare with oil and gas which is of course one of the highest salaries present in engineering fields then we compare compare with other countries so you get the idea of how much you're going to get paid depending on the place you're working in and then we compare with other engineers so let's start now this is for the US this is the average payment for all chemical engineers this is not entry level only and this considers that the median value is 70,000 per year which is about 6,000 per month if you consider taxes maybe 25% it's about 4.5k monthly which is pretty cool if you're in the US you know that this that's good enough for a I, I mean average life now this is entry level of chemical engineering well this is average engineering versus entry level of overall engineering so you can see typically other engineers pay a little bit lower yet this is dependent on the company but I will say that chemical engineers have relatively higher payment rates than other engineers maybe industrial engineers have lower payments computer engineering has high payment rate as well so compare right here you can see the different values the low end is 60,000 low end is 50,000 this is per year average will be about 77 this is 70 68 sorry and high end is pretty similar now let's check out the companies this is not ordered by payment so the highest pay is by shell $125,000 per year now this is not entry level this is average payment for a chemical engineer this is based on glassdoors.com you want to check it out now let's check out the highest payments and you will see there is something in common so this Shell, ExxonMobil, Schlumberger, BP are the highest payment and no wonder why because they are petroleum, petroleum, petroleum and petroleum so that's why they have the highest payment for chemical engineers well, I think it's kind of unfair because this is dedicated for petroleum engineering. I want to compare the actual chemical engineers working in chemical plants. So Dow Chemical is right here. It's a good uh, chemical company. It's very known. It's $88,000. DuPont, $92,000. Dow Corning, which is part most likely of Dow, Dow Chemical, also ninety two. Chemical Oh, sorry, Eastman East Company, ninety thousand. So you can see they round around. They are up around ninety thousand per year. In Vista, uh, I think it's from the India, most likely working in the U.S. You get eighty-five thousand. What else do we have here? Three M Air Products. So nothing below eighty-five. Yeah, Honeywell, and that's most likely because Honeywell is not a hundred percent chemical engineering or chemical plants they work with other engineerings as well but I would say it's pretty safe to assume that 90,000 is a good medium value for a chemical company for a petroleum company expect something about 100 maybe even 120 thousand dollars so here is the detailed analysis on petroleum engineers so as stated before the chemical engineer is more or less here 77k for a petroleum engineer is 505k which is mostly 40% maybe no yeah 40% more but they don't tell you guys that they work in harsh conditions they work a lot of the time they don't have relatively normal life they don't have time for themselves they're just working always in the petroleum pit or in the platform so yeah maybe it's good for the money but for life not that much and let's continue with salaries worldwide so I took one of the most relevant uh, places 
also I got plenty of traffic from USA, India, Brazil, Mexico, a little bit on Europe and some Japan. The bubble show the payment rates and let's check it out. Let's check out UK. So let me change everything to dollars. I think 3,000 pounds is the average for UK. Let me convert it to US dollars. 43k divided 12. That's about 3.6k per month. So 3.6k per month. Okay, perfect. So that's okay. A little bit less than that in the USA but I will say it's very decent job, decent salary. Now Germany, this is in euros, so we gotta change to euros. It's about 50K per month, 4.2K. So it's a little bit higher than that of UK. Yet, of course you need to consider that this is not paying taxes, so you gotta consider after taxes maybe uh, UK takes much more than Germany. No, I think it's reverse. Germany takes much more taxes than UK. Now Japan is three million divided into one hundred ten. Yen is one dollar. This is thirty one thousand per year. This is per month. Two point six k per month. So this is much much lower. Actually, it's half of that Germany and U and the UK. Yet, as you can see, this is higher, so you will expect to grow easier and to earn much more money. Okay. Now let's go to India. Let me 434 700 divided. Let me review, I think 68 rupees is one dollar. So you get six thousand per year per year divided by twelve. It's about five hundred dollars per month which is 0.5k per month. So you can see that is drastically too low. Yeah. You will expect too low payments, but this is important. Uh, the software here tells you people in the job generally have less than 10, 10 years of experience. So maybe we have plenty of uh, junk Indians reporting to these websites. That's why the average is going down. So you got to consider that as well. I don't know if there is any Indian here. Could you please tell us what will be the expected payment? I know it's right for the previous ones, but I don't know for India. So Brazil, let me change that to US dollars. I think it's 3.8 reales is $1 divided by 12. It's about 2.4K per month which is pretty similar to that of Japan. So that is definitely a large amount compared to other Latin American countries. I would say chemical engineers are very well valued in Brazil. And finally, Mexico, which is my home country. Let me see if this is right. This is about $10,000 per year, which is about 1,000, let's say 1K per month. And this is true guys, that is the average payment for a chemical engineer. I will say, yeah, this is correct. So that's why I could, I could say that the India value is correct. Brazil value, I'm, I'm not pretty sure because I think it's pretty high considering other Latin American countries. But I don't know if Japan is too low for me, I would say they earn higher values. Germany and UK definitely are reasonable so of course chemical engineers are much more valued in the usa because they have a lot of industry and they export plenty of materials okay so i didn't did this one but let's check it out australian dollar and us dollar are pretty similar so they are earning about 5k per month in australia so hopefully you you like this video guys oops okay so before ending the video, let me check out the chemical engineer salary comparison with other engineering fields. So as you can see, it's pretty good. Aerospace engineering, mining, 
anything related to raw materials is going to be always higher so petroleum mining geology etc nuclear engineering as well because this is very specific computer engineering as well but all other engineering i will say they go lower so that was everything on this uh, section guys i hope you enjoyed the salary let me know if they are correct maybe you have other quantities let me know in the comments so we can add them as an attachment other people can see can compare themselves with other salaries around the world